Alrighty, today is the day that we are going to grab my cobalt. It's finally done. I got the text from uh, Tim over there at ZZP. He told me it was done yesterday about after lunch. And I'll tell you the whole entire story after. I guess I can tell a little bit about it. Um, it had some problems. It ended up being a spun rod bearing. I think I said that in the update video. It was a spun rod bearing. It wasn't bad. I had to get um, a new crank. New connecting rods, new pistons, and everything. And I uh, get my block honed out again, or honed, just because of four of the new rings. And then um, put that all back together, got it on. It was making weird numbers on the dyno. It was running like crap, but it was still making over 400 wheel, and it was weird because they didn't know what who tuned it. They thought someone else tuned it, but ZZP actually tuned it last year. But the guy that works there now forgot that. Matt, the guy that works there, still tuned it. It's an aggressive tune on purpose, but it wasn't running right. That could have probably been why I took a poop, but um, yeah, that's why. And then um, what else happened? They got it all put together. They got it on the dyno, and then they finally tuned it. And I put on uh, my um, Instagram. It made four sixteen wheel. And then, it, I don't remember what torque it was, I think it was about the same or a little bit more. And um, that was like their conservative tune at 20 PSI, so 460 and 20 PSI is really good actually. Because that turbo can do much more than that. Not a lot more, but it can do more than that. And um, he said I needed a one piece lower intercooler pipe and a one piece upper intercooler pipe or upper charge pipe to be able to push more boost. So. Once I get that, I can turn it up and I can go all the way up to like 500 wheel, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that because to me, it honestly all feels the same when you're at that high. Um, I don't think, if, after you get about 400 horsepower, 380 in a front wheel drive car, it kinda all feels the same, so. I mean, unless you're driving like an 800 horsepower um, front wheel drive car, but I don't think it's much different, so. That's what the move is on that. We're gonna go pick it up today, it's done. And when it was done, they went for one more test drive in it, and the throttle bearing failed, which sucked, because I wanted to pick it up last week on Thursday. That's when it was done originally. And um, he said the throttle bearing failed, so then they had to dig into that yesterday, and they fixed it by yesterday. Still has the same tune. It's a 416 wheel at 20 PSI on E85. It's tuned. It's totally done. The motor's rebuilt. And um, I have to go pick it up today, so... I'm excited. Broke my bank, but I haven't, as you noticed, I haven't made any videos. I haven't bought anything. I've been saving up. And um, I can't really afford it, but I'm right there. So um, we're going to get that done. And then here's my front clip from it. It's been here the whole time. It's broken on the sides. It doesn't sit up right. But I feel like everyone's cobalts that I follow on Instagram and stuff, they all don't have really good hood to fender fitment, hood to like bumper sag fitment and everything's kind of weird so I guess I'm just gonna run it like that see if I can fix it a little bit but this stuff's just annoying so I'm gonna pick it up today I'll show you the emails I know what everything happened I'll let you guys know everything sorry this was a boring long talking segment but just want to get out of the way like what happened to it what's the deal and now I'm gonna go get it and then I'm gonna try to make a cool video it's beautiful out today so excited about that and then um yeah I'll have the cobalt back finally after like five months so, I'm really excited. You always do it and I want to do it. I already filmed one. We're on our way to ZZP. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The golf. The slough. The Mark 6. The slough. The DSG. With the new paddles that we put on there. Look at how it look good. No, she doesn't use them. I do too. She's too scared. Uh -uh. Do it. I'm at red light. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we made it, and she's done. And I'm excited because I have not started this thing. It starts. So, and now we get to go drive it. Very excited. All right, I'm going to go enjoy this for a little bit. See you guys in a bit. All right, I 
only drove it down the street. It's all good. Um, I haven't gotten into boost or anything yet, but I guess it's broken in. Got to do an oil change in about 500 miles, but everything's set. Um, runs great. It's still uh, rowdy and vibrating like I remember, so gotta get used to that. I have all my old engine parts in the back, so when I get back home, I'll run through everything that happened. I got my old crank, all my pistons, my bearings, all the head gaskets, all that stuff. So I'll show you guys that when I get back. But right now, we're just gonna go out to eat. We haven't ate anything, and I just dropped way too much money on this thing. But I'm excited. I'll try to get some videos. Actual still not fixed. They didn't do that, but I'm glad because that would have been an extra 400 bucks. So. Some of the stuff, like they didn't pop this back in right here. It's a lot of little stuff, and then there's a bunch of wet stuff down there under that carpet, like wet, like they smell like quart of oil or something. It doesn't look like it looks like oil, doesn't smell like oil, and isn't oily. So I don't know what it is, but there's a bunch of little stuff I gotta do. I gotta clean it, it hasn't been washed forever. I need to get an alignment, I need to get um, the slicks put on these tires or these wheels, I should say, and then I need to get these powder coated. A lot of stuff I want to do, don't have any money right now, I'm just happy it's done. I don't know what expectations I had because uh, it feels just like it did before it was broken. And when it was broken it still felt the same, so it feels like I just spent a lot of money for nothing to happen, but I know that it's the bottom end is totally rebuilt now, so. Should be safe, I broke it in on the dyno like I said, but I'm just going to drive it around, break it in, put 60 more miles on it. Stop to get him into some pictures. So you're on the ball that's been going. It's running. It works. There's all my head gaskets and all the other stuff, my old flywheel and everything. There's my crank. There's all my old rods, my throw out bearing. Here's the bearing. I took a poop. Come on, focus. That's the bearing. I couldn't tell what rod it was, but. That's all of it. All my old spark plugs, my old rings are in here. My old oil control rings and piston rings. But that's what did it. Right there. All right, I've been working out here for like two hours. I didn't get the horn fixed. Sadly, but I fixed my gap over here. It's moving my fender around a little bit. Got the gap pretty flush, so. That's nice. Gotta fix the horn. The bumper working. Should be all set. Alrighty, like I said, closing up shop tonight. Still got some stuff out. I need to figure out this horn. Got my fog lights plugged in now. This is weird though. If any of you guys could help me out, this was a. Uh... Oh my gosh, of course you can't see anything. This was crimped off like this. And this is the old horn. Black wire goes in there. This one was just like this. I don't know if that's why my horn isn't working. I tried plugging that into there. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing still works, so. Um, that's how that is, but it's back. It needs a wash. 
put some gas in it today. I'm not talking about this horn. I'm talking about those horns. Because I just get a click when I press the horn. Sick. Oh my gosh, I left my pliers right there. Stupid. I am dumb. I don't know how I didn't see those. Anything else I'm about to crush? No, it's this big resistor fuse right here. That goes into there. And then there's a ground, which is the white wire down in there. And that green wire that I was talking about goes down to the old one right here. And this brown wire is the one that goes into this fuse that goes into the positive of the fuse box. And then that comes down through here, back into here. These aren't getting power. It gets power until I put it on the ground and there's no power. I don't know if it's because of that resistor or what, but that's what we're looking like as of right now. So I'm going to go inside. This isn't a crazy exciting video, but I'm going to close it up now. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got the cobalt back. Hopefully I can make some views before snow comes down. Now we're back to where we were before. So $4,200 in the hole. Kind of depressing, but I guess we'll get back. Give me some hope. <laughs>